Okay. I'm going to try to tell you in details the software testing types in general. We have two kinds of testing types in software IT field. These are static testing and dynamic testing. Static testing is known as verification process, but dynamic testing is known as validation process. And static testing is Static testing focuses on how to test the documents, but dynamic testing focuses on how to test, test codes and software. And as we know, static testing is implemented during the requirement gathering and designing phases of the software development lifecycle. But on the other hand, dynamic testing is executed during the developing, develop, development and testing phases of the software development life cycle. And <clears throat> the types of or the steps of static testing is respectively review, walkthrough and inspection. And uh, the types of dynamic testing are white box testing, black box testing and gray box testing. As I said to you, uh, generally software testings are divided into two categories. These are static testing and dynamic testing. When I want to elaborate each of them, first of all, testing documents is called static testing. So static testing does not require code or software to be executed and it requires performing manual testing but not automation testing. So in static testing, the business team and designers read and test various documents to prevent errors in the later stages of software development lifecycle. So cost of finding errors and fixing from documents is less in static testing. So as I said, static testing is also known as the verification process. And <clears throat> uh, when I want to describe what is verification, then I can say that verification is a process of creating requirements and design documents, and then testing the documents correctness correctness by validating whether they are developing the product correctly in the first and second phases of software development lifecycle. So static testing uh, has three steps. These are, as I said, review, walkthrough and inspection steps. So during the review step, uh, we are having meetings so during the review, review process, uh, this meeting is typically conducted to find and eliminate errors or ambiguities in documents and review step actually is an informal meeting. So uh, indiv individual review, group review and requirement document review and design document reviews are involved during this process. And the second step of uh, static testing is walkthrough. And during walkthrough, this meeting is performed by author of the document to check the errors and to achieve a common understanding to gather feedback. So walkthrough is more formal than review meeting and a discussion is implemented at peer level and it is useful for higher level documents like requirement specification and the third step of static testing is the inspection step so during the inspection this is the most formal document testing meeting type and with this meeting, I mean during the inspection, the document uh, is being reviewed and it is finalized. And the second kind of 
software testing is generally dynamic testing. Testing code and the software itself is called dynamic testing. Dynamic testing requires the code to be executed and it requires performing both manual and automated, automatic testing. In dynamic testing, the developers, various testers and the client test the software by providing input and examining the output to find and fix bugs. <clears throat> so, cost of finding bugs and fixing from the actual software is high in dynamic testing. Dynamic testing, as I said, is also known as the validation process. Validation is a, I can describe validation as, validation is, it is a process of writing code and testing the code and testing the actual software. Through the validation process, testers ensure whether it is the right product as the client requests, because uh, as the dev team, I mean, including the developers and the testers, we all work for the client's requirements, I mean, to satisfy the client actually. So what about the types of uh, dynamic testing, as I said, uh, they are white box testing, black box testing, and gray box testing. And when I want to compare static testing and dynamic testing, to summarize also, documents are tested during the static testing, but codes and softwares are tested during the dynamic testing. And as I said, static testing is also called verification process. On the other hand, dynamic testing is called as validation process. During the static testing, no code or software is involved, but only the documents are tested. But during the dynamic testing, actual code and software are <clears throat> tested. What about the procedures? As I said, during the static testing, only manual testing is done. But on the other hand, during the dynamic testing, both manual and automation testing can be done. When they are done, when are they executed? Static testing is performed in the first and second stages of software development life cycle. What are these first and second steps? Requirement gathering and design phases. So, but dynamic testing is performed in the third and fourth stage of software development life cycle. So, what are these third and fourth stages? Development and testing phases are the third and fourth stages of SDLC. So dynamic testing is implemented during these phases. So who are the participants during the static testing? Only the business team and the designers are involved or tasked. But during the dynamic testing, developers testers, the client, and users are all involved and tasked. What is the purpose? So the purpose of static testing is to prevent and avoid bugs, but the purpose of dynamic testing is to find and fix the bugs. Fi fix the bugs. When I compare both of them in terms of time and cost effectiveness, of course, static testing is costly and time consuming, especially we have so many test cases. But on the other hand, dynamic testing is fast and cost effective, especially in the long run, if we have so many test cases. So <clears throat> what is the right question for each of them? For static testing, we can we should try to find a solution or an, an answer to the question like, are we build, building this software right correctly? 
but for the dynamic testing we need to find an answer to the question about are we building the right product what about the approaches as i said static testing has three approaches or steps review walkthrough inspection on the other hand dynamic testing has three types these are white box testing black box testing and gray box testing thank you so much